The winner of this award learned how to work early, delivering papers as a boy, working as a barman, playing in a rock band. I'm not so sure that was work. Um, <laughs> and eventually working as an engineer for the General Post Office. He joined the Royal Air Force and rose to the rank of squadron leader. In 1986, at the age of 36, he was flying a jet provost over North Yorkshire when he had a mid-air collision. He ejected, but broke his spine, and it took two years of rehabilitation before he was fully functioning again. In 1987, he bought a farm with his wife. The 82 acres cost them just 100,000 pounds, which they raised by selling off everything they had, including their car. And together, they planted their first 5,000 vines in 1989. The first wines were made in 1992, and the debut Saval Blanc won a bronze medal at the UK Vineyards Association competition. From this humble start, our winner's vineyard has emerged as one of the top wine producers in the UK, and in particular, has been a leader of the amazing and ongoing success story that is English sparkling wine. They were the first English sparkling wine producer to win a gold medal here at the IWC. And their trail of medal successes in all competitions is astonishing. Their success has been achieved the old school way of hard work and financial prudence. Growth has come from reinvesting profits, not by borrowing or bringing in investors. Our winner has had offers to buy the estate turn, and turn them down. Our life is not for sale, he once said in an interview with the FT. Every Wednesday since 1992, they've run their popular vineyard tours, most of which have been led by our winner, who has now done more than 900 of them. In 2017, his vineyard became the first in the UK to achieve protected designation of origin for a wine, for Bacchus, grown in a specific vineyard on the estate. His vineyard has supplied English wines to every prime minister since Tony Blair, and his wines have been served at many royal functions. And this year, the company received a royal warrant making them the first by appointment English sparkling wine. Our winner's contribution to the success of English wine cannot be overestimated. The vineyard is Camel Valley, and our Lifetime Achievement Award winner is Bob Linder. Well, I have got something written down, but I probably won't say it. Um, Co-chairs, co ladies and gentlemen, thanks on behalf of the whole Lindo family, but also on behalf of the English wine industry, and congratulations to Sherry from my um, This would have been unconceivable, inconceivable, 30 years ago when we planted. There, there was a joke, you know, you, many of you will have heard it, but this joke was we used to hear almost weekly, and this, it was how many people does it take to drink a, a glass of English wine, and the answer was four. The victim, two to hold him down, or one to pour the glass down his throat. Now that gives you some idea how far we've come in 30 years, and the International Wine Challenge has played a really important part because skeptics can't argue with winning competitions in blind tastings. And this is the ultimate one for us. And I'll never forget my first gold medal in 2005, the 2001 um, Camavalli Brut, and the, the awards were some while off, but there was a Vin Expo in Bordeaux where they would give you a few medal stickers. It meant so much, I went all the way there just to get about six medal stickers, which are still on the bedpost of our bed. <laughs> so whatever turns you on, we're all adults. And every time, <laughs> last thing I see when I go to bed are those stickers, and then but then one of the nicest days of my life was when my son came running up to me in the vineyard and said, Dad, 
I won my first international gold challenge um, gold medal, international wine challenge gold medal. He said, I'm a Cornish Guardian on the way with a photographer. I said, fantastic son, because I'd won mine and now he'd got his and that was just brilliant. He came running out an hour later, said, Dad, I won the England trophy and the Manchester Guardian on the way with a photographer. Fantastic son, well done. An hour later he came out, he couldn't breathe, he was throttling at the mouth, rolling about on the ground. I won the trophy for the best sparkling rosé in the world and Sky are on the way in a helicopter. <laughs> so, um, if I can just, just say a word about my son, he's three times UK winemaker of the year, a former chair of the UKBA. Um, he's won four IWC trophies, including the international trophy. And in 2014, he was shortlisted for the award that um, Sherry won. We wouldn't be anywhere near we are without him. And his current vintage has not only won a gold medal in the wine challenge, but 97 points, planted platinum in decanter, gold in wine GB, and a gold in Tom Stevenson Champagne Sparkling Wine Championships. He needs a big clap. Give him a clap. My hope for the English wine industry is that we'll continue to compete on quality and not on price. We want a, a race to the top in quality, not a dive to the bottom in price. And I hope that continues. Um, my greatest achievement is five lovely grandchildren. And my <laughs> spread, all, spread all over Cornwall tonight being looked after by the families here. So um, thank you from all of my family for coming and all the help, but particularly I must mention Annie because we've been equal partners from the start. In the first vineyard, we dug the holes together, we banged the posts in together, we put the wires up together, and she still looks after her own vineyard. She's still the only person to have pruned her vineyard for 30 years, which is quite amazing, really. Well, I'm very humbled by this. Thank you all very much indeed. Thank you. Well, I keep doing what I'm doing, which is turning up every day and doing what's interesting and what I like doing, you know. And I've always done that, actually. And so I may be still sometimes the first person to arrive and the last person to leave, you know, sure. if I'm interested. Um, and I try to find things we're interested in rather than things that might add a few pounds to the income, you know. It's, I'm past that stage. It's interest now for me. Oh,